So now to our second theorem about discount factors when markets are incomplete, positive discount factors and the absence of arbitrage. As I mentioned, there's two theorems we're chasing. The first one is that the law of one price implies a unique discount factor in the payoff space. Our second theorem is that no arbitrage implies a strictly positive discount factor. Let's go see what that means and how it works. So here's the theorem. If there are no arbitrage opportunities, as well as the law of one price, then there is a strictly positive discount factor. Um, and strictly positive, again, means in all states of nature. No matter what happens, this thing comes out positive. Well, to talk about this, I have to tell you what an arbitrage opportunity means. And here's the definition. An arbitrage, there's no arbitrage opportunities if every payoff that is positive, non-negative, positive with positive probability. So it's, you, you know you're not going to lose money. You might make some money. That payoff might, must have a positive price. So the definition of arbitrage in, in, in payoff language, here are the payoffs that are positive. This one's positive in both states of nature. This one's positive in state of nature S1, but zero in state of nature S2. That one's zero in both states of nature. So that's excluded. But everybody in here has to have a positive price. <coughs> Why is that? Well, again, that's a, a modicum of rationality. Uh, something that might be worth something can never lose you money. That has to have a positive price. A lottery ticket might be worth something. You're never going to lose money if somebody just gives it to you. That thing must have a positive price. That's the definition of arbitrage. Now, be careful. Uh, in finance, when we say arbitrage, we mean this. Colloquially, arbitrage means violations of the law of one price, making money for absolute sure the same amount no matter what happens. We call that the law of one price. On Wall Street, they call arbitrage taking crazy bets. There's the, actually things called departments of risk arbitrage, which is an oxymoron. I don't want to make fun of them. Just be careful when you talk to people that the language means different things. In finance, that's what arbitrage means. OK, now this theorem. What's the connection between arbitrage opportunities and positive discount factors? Let me explain the idea intuitively. Let's go the, the opposite direction the easy one. Suppose that the discount factor is always positive, And suppose we have payoffs that are always positive. Well, the price of those payoff is a sum of positive probabilities, positive discount factors, and positive payoffs. It's got to be greater than 0. In order to get a price less than 0 out of this, we would need a discount factor less than 0. That's not happening, right? If we rule out negative prices, we, can't have, we, have, we have positive discount factors. So that gives you the connection between positive discount factors, positive contingent claims prices, and uh, the absence of arbitrage. In complete markets, uh, the, other, the other direction of the theorem is easy as well. In complete markets, there's a unique discount factor. Now, suppose that discount factor was negative for some states of nature. Let's just look at contingent claims for those states of nature. Let's, let's look at uh, the sum of those discount uh, of, um, payoffs in those states of nature. Uh, that those payoffs in those states of nature would have a price that's negative, since the payoffs are negative. The real proof, I'm going to defer to the book, because it takes a while and it uses techniques that aren't particularly useful anywhere else. Um, but the theorem is true. And the important part is to remember the intuition.